Ladies and gentlemen, it's a rainy afternoon and we're playing some Skyrim Special Edition. Here's our hero. I've named him Marlin. Uh, this is the name of one of my original D&D &D characters. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing with this series. Uh, I did a Fallout series and people kind of liked it for the very like low traffic I got uh, on the channel at the time. Uh, I just wanted to play Skyrim. I saw Sips playing it the other day. I'm like, Skyrim, yeah, Skyrim Special Edition. I hadn't tried it out with the mods yet. So this is, a uh, I say moderately modded right now. I've got about 50 mods running right now. Um, the first thing I noticed is it's just much more stable. Uh, oh, I'm doing the, uh, I'm doing the, uh, okay, let's stop doing that. Uh, I'm gonna need to go back to this handsome man. So yeah, it's a lot more stable. Uh, original Skyrim, I felt, once I got up to the 100 mods, it started getting very glitchy. Uh, so far it's been very, very strong. Nothing, Nothing's happened. I haven't done much. I've maybe played like uh, 10, 15 minutes to just try some stuff out. Uh, so this is a brand new playthrough. Uh, if you're familiar with this mod, you can see I'm playing uh, Start Another Life, or Live Another Life, or Alternative. It's an Alternative Start mod, because uh, I just, I, I can't do the, uh, I can't do it. I can't do the original uh, gameplay as the Dragonborn. It's just, we've done it too much. So what I envisioned for this character was kind of like a, a first person playthrough, like a, a bit of RP, but of course we'll come out and, and talk about stuff that's going on in the game. But uh, Marlin here is, um, I just, I, I envisioned a pit fighter. The original Marlin in D&D &D was like a kind of a grizzled ranger. Uh, but I've done the bow thing. I've done the sword and shield thing. I've done the two-handed sword. I've done the magic thing. I only really touched on... Um, dual wielding and I want to make a warrior like a pit fighter warrior who dual wields daggers uh, he'll do some stealth and stuff because the stealth and daggers go well together he's kind of a cutthroat warrior but um, deep down he's got a heart of gold uh, so he's a red guard I, I know he doesn't look uh, quite as dark as uh, I, I wanted a more of a swarthy look like a like a southern look more less than the uh, like an African warrior look, so uh, that's kind of what I got. I mainly wanted the red guard bonuses, uh, but you see, he's very, he's kind of short and he's very stocky. That's kind of, I wanted like the Wolverine build, so he's got that going for him too. So he, he just looks like a warrior. Uh, the hair, I'm not so sure about. I got a hair pack up. Most of them are just like beautiful, flowy, uh, kind of like dreamy fantasy hairs. This was like the most business of the new hairs. I didn't want to use one of the basic hairs. So, uh, here we are. Here we are with Marlin. We're gonna go uh, back to first person, and we're gonna get out of here. So, if you're not familiar with this, yeah, I got a new font mod there. You see, that's pretty cool. Uh, we can discuss the mods as they come up, uh, as they remind, surprise me, and remind me. Uh, a lot of them are just utility things, like uh, making dialogue easier and uh, just adding new sounds and a, a few new graphics. But some of them are like completely uh, amazing, like uh, new monster mods and weird shit like that. Uh, so this allows you to live another life. So we're going to start, um, we're going to pick something that would fit our pit warrior. Approach my child and choose where your new life shall begin. All right. I arrived aboard a ship. I own property. One of the holds definitely not. I'm a new member of a guild. This is a possibility. We'll come back to that patron in the local inn, uh, a soldier in the army. Uh, that's the vanilla start. I want to escape the cell. I do not remember where the cell is. It's in one of the cities, and I can't recall where. Um, I'm an outlaw in the wilds. It seems like a good one, but it's a little extreme, and it makes you friends with a bunch of um, bandits, which he would not. He, we're going to give him a backstory where he doesn't like bandits, definitely. Camping in the woods, which is almost a bit of a start. Uh, shipwrecked off the coast. I'm a vampire in a secluded lair, definitely not. I'm a necromancer in a secret location, a warlock's thrall, attacked and left for dead. I'm a member of the Alakir. That's new. Uh, maybe these are race-based ones, because I've never seen that one before. Uh, a member of the Alakir? I'm curious about that, but it's not what we want. I don't know a lot about the Alakir, but they're, they're an organization, and uh, that's not what Marlin's about. I'm leading towards I was attacked and left for dead. That seems very... Uh, appropriate. Uh, soldier in the army, no, because he's definitely not from uh, here. He's definitely not from here. And if we can't decide on anything, we'll just go for a patron or a member of the guild. And here are the guild options. Which guild are you a new recruit for? Uh, the Companions. The College of Winterhold, obviously not. Uh, the Dark Brotherhood, 
Possibly. Thieves Guild, possibly, but we we kind of lose the ability to, to join those. Uh, Lord Harkin's Court, which makes you a vampire, not a good idea. The Dongard, that would be kind of cool. Again, it, I think it's one of those things we just we want to join, so let's back out. So be it. May your no. Prove long and Approach my oh, no, I hit escape. I didn't pick anything. I'm going to go with Attack and Left for Dead. It's the hardest start because you basically start with nothing. The light of hope shines even for you. Don't give up. Now, I don't know if he was attacked. Maybe he was um, betrayed. And we can kind of come up with... Uh, yeah. Okay. Tab exit. Exit. <laughs> Thank you. I gotta get used to these controls again. Uh, so something happened in Marlin's past and he was betrayed. Okay. So let's go to bed. And we will wake up in the wild somewhere. So there's going to be crashing. At some point it will crash. Uh, we're going to pile on more mods as we play. Like I said, we're running at about 50 right now. So here we are. We've been... Attacked and left for dead. We're obviously part of this caravan here. Uh, I'm not sure what. Maybe we, we just don't remember yet. It's been too soon. I, I've got a vague idea of where we are. Uh, we're close to Windhelm. Oh, let's see what we can loot here. I'll take that. We'll take this just for. So I think we're going to go with light armor in this build. We have no lockpicks. Book of Daedra. Take it just to sell it. Take that tomato. All right, so we have some mods. Uh, we have some survival mods. My favorite mods are immersion mods, and we're going to start putting them on right now. Uh, so let's head to our inventory. Uh, this stuff should be in here. Okay. Uh, Vivid Weathers, Festivals of Skyrim. Okay, this is just the book. I don't know how to turn these on. Uh, no, no. Okay, Vivid Weathers. Ah, okay. Uh, choose which settings. Okay, so a lot of this like configuration stuff, a lot of the off-screen stuff, I'm just not going to show because we need to save time. Skyrim's a long-ass game. So I'm going to do these settings, and then we'll come back. Okay, we're back. So I turned on the uh, uh, immersive needs mod, which means we need to eat and drink now. Which is, I think, it's, that's that's uh, what's going on. There's a wolf nearby. Um, I've also turned on. Well, I haven't turned on Frostfall yet, but it's installed. Frostfall is probably my favorite Skyrim mod. It uh, adds hypothermia, cold weather, wind, all that sort of stuff. Being wet is bad when it's frozen. Uh, nails. Just, sure, let's take everything. I don't know if we... We're going to be hungry. Let's take this book. Okay, I think we've taken almost all we can take from here. We're going to... Uh, so everything's kind of set up now. Uh, to start Sky... Or Skyfall. <laughs> Skyfall. To start Frostfall, apparently when it gets night, we stare up at the sky for eight seconds. And then the menu will open. <laughs> the menu will come down and descend upon us. Knapsack. Uh, let's take that book too. Do we have any weapons? We have an iron war axe. It will have to do. It's one-handed. It'll count. So the initial setup is done. Uh, we've got our, our mods. We've got a bit of an introduction. So let's get into character as the pit fighter, Marlin, who's been abandoned. is now getting dark. He's... Just in these rags, <laughs> looks very handsome and well kept, though, doesn't he? <laughs> Need to work on that, maybe. Get us a little bit more of a rugged look. And, um, uh, let's go. And, um, uh, let's, let's have our adventure begin. By picking every flower we see. I don't know why I never do alchemy. I never do alchemy. Maybe I will. Maybe poisons. Um, okay. I know I said we're going to get into character board, not right away. Uh, first of all, let's look at a very important mod I've installed. It's called Ordinator. Uh, this is a fantastic mod. It completely revamps all the boring vanilla trees with these really fantastically detailed and, and expandable trees. So we're going to look at one-handed. So you see there's a branch for every different type of weapon now, and it just goes up and up and up. And you can do some really cool, crazy things like swaying cobra, sideways power attack with a dagger drain, 75 magic stamina, 
Death Adder, standing power attacks with a dagger, ignore enemy armor, coiling python, hitting a target with forwards, sideways, and backwards power attack with a dagger within 30 seconds, paralyzes the target for 20 seconds, then you do massive crits on them. That is pretty goddamn cool. And it's like that for every tree. Of course, we're going to focus on one hand at first. Uh, there's also like a specific just uh, branch for dual wielding, and it's crazy, and it's fun. It's balanced, uh, quote unquote. But uh, the thing I like about it most is it takes the trees you never put points into and makes them cool. Like lockpicking now has stuff for uh, traps and uh, like uh, casing joints to find treasure. Speech has the stuff to empower your shout and uh, do some like cool bard stuff like uh, magic and uh, charming with your voice. Um, even alchemy has got some upgrades that I haven't really looked at. Uh, it really improves magic. Vanilla magic is great for about 25 levels and then it turns to garbage. So. That's Ordinator, highly recommended. Uh, it's something we're going to delve into. I already see some walls. Oop. Should put the weapon on. Alright, Marlin. That axe does not look uh, a special edition. Alright, Wolves. Bring your face to my axe. One down. We should, um. Favorite some magic, I think. Uh, restoration. Let's. Favorite that. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Alright. <sighs> the magical pit fighter. <laughs> uh. Items. Let's find that weapon. To one. All right, we've got our basic hotkeys down. Oh, I guess we could, should be working on our stealth. It's going to be very important. Get out of stealth. Get out of stealth. It's not going well. Wow, this. Okay, so I got some new sound effects installed. Uh, that was crazy. Ugh. Camera's jerking around a lot. Ugh. I don't know if I can handle a wolf. He doesn't know where we are. Maybe he's he's lost us. Oh, it's not good. Attacked. Left for dead. Surrounded by wolves. Just wolves. They must have come out because they uh, smelled the bodies. Hunting nearby. Okay, I think we're ready for that last one. Where are you, son of a bitch? Come on. Not dead yet. There he is. Oh, he's already hurt. Oh. <laughs> Come on, you. Oh, he's... Okay. I was like, why is he running? I, I installed a mod uh, called something. I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> it's called... But it... it alters the AI of the the monsters and it would make sense that a wolf would run away once he's got the shit kicked out of him so that's what happened there no pickaxe all right it is getting dark so as soon as it is it dark enough to start frost frostfall yes okay we're going to start frostfall right away because uh we're not going to be babies about this. Frostfall's starting up. Please wait. So I think it, it's going to strip me of all my clothes. I used to do that. Survivor's Guide to Skyrim added. Uh, so yeah, in in the original uh, vanilla Skyrim, there was a mod where you could just alter all your mods from the menu. I don't have that right now. 
I don't I don't know if it's not available or if I just can't find it. So everything has to be kind of done manually. So yeah, it's cool. The the type of armor you're wearing has different types of warmth and, and coverage. So like fur armor, fur, light fur armor, maybe not the best armor in the game for like armor wise, but for warmth, it's pretty good. I think orcish armor was one of the better heavy armors because it's like fur lined, that sort of thing. So stuff like chain mail and plate mail, not so good for cold because it's just a piece of metal on you. Okay, so I see like most of the um, controls that would be on the mod mini are just in here now. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, let's uh, fire up Frostfall then. Resourcefulness, what's this? Okay, Frostfall. All right, Frostfall options. Enable or disable settings preset all options. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'll set this up and we'll get back to gameplay. All right, Frostfall is enabled. Uh, luckily, oh, we're out. We don't need this food. Luckily, when we're in uh, one of the warmer regions of Skyrim, as you go, basically when you start to see snow, then you're in trouble. But we should be fine here. So what do we want to do? Um, we need to get to a city or a town or something. So let's let's head up the road here. So let's talk about Marlin. Is he from Skyrim? Does he know the region? No, he's a Redguard, so he's not from around here. Maybe he's just been in uh, Skyrim recently. Maybe he's he's been around here. What has he been doing for work? I think maybe he was a mercenary of some sort. Uh, someone who maybe had great potential at one time, but now has, uh, in, in recent years, has kind of let himself go. Maybe he drinks a bit. Hello, goat. And uh, just got himself in a position where he was... Able to be betrayed. Another wolf. All right, where are you going? Where is he going? Is he running? Will a lone wolf not attack me? That makes sense. But I'm gonna attack him. Yeah, he's totally running. That is awesome. So yeah, the other ones attack me because there's four of them. But okay, now he's got friends. Now he's coming back. This is cool. Oh, that's a lot of wolves. This might not have been the best thing. I have a quick save for a while. Keep moving. Keep moving, Marlon. Keep moving. If you need to, just get on a rock. <laughs> oh. Can't see. It's too dark. The swings are wild. Ugh. Just swig it wild. Try to stay alive. Come on, man. You gotta get that one handed up. One more. Where are you? Oh, he's hurt. He's gonna run now. No, no, no. Where is it? Oh, it's so hard to see. I need like a torch. Got him. But now where are we? Where's he let us? 